Welcome to this test drive video for the 10th generation Civic, developed alongside the Civic Type R, which is why we have the most advanced and sporty Civic to date. So let's get inside. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, you really get that sporting feel. So I feel like I'm sitting in the car, but still with generous amounts of space inside. So to start the car, it's a traditional key system on the uh, steering column. So we'll turn that on and that allows us now to select drive. So we'll pop it into uh, D for drive. And then we've got a couple of options here because we have the electronic parking brake. So now my foot is actually on the foot brake at the moment, so I could actually push the uh, parking brake and take that off and I'm ready to drive away as soon as my foot goes off the brake onto the accelerator. Or alternatively, and my favorite, is to actually put the brake hold on. What this does for me is that as soon as I drive away, it actually releases the brake for me. And also when I get to a standstill, it puts the parking brake on for me and off again when I want to pull away. That means on this journey, I never have to touch the parking brake at all, as long as I've pressed brake hold. So let's go. So today we're in the one litre, 126 PS Civic, which is a fantastic blend of performance and economy. Now, if you wanted to go down the sporty route, we have the Sport, and that has an impressive 182 PS of power. Just to the left of the shift lever, we have a couple of buttons here. One is for idle stop, to actually turn it off, and the other is for econ. Now, both of these features are about maximizing the efficiency of the car for me. So, if I was stationary at a set of traffic lights, maybe, the car can actually pause the engine. And then as soon as I want to drive off, it will restart for me. So that's idle stop and that's on by default. Now the econ button, this is all about trying to encourage me and the car to be more efficient with my throttle response being eco biased and also making my cruise control and my air conditioning even more fuel efficient. All Honda Civics come with the fantastic Honda Sensing package. Now this is a comprehensive suite of features to help keep you safer on the road. Now some of them are actually safety features and some of them are assistance systems to help you drive for longer without getting fatigued. So either of these systems are going to help you be safe on the road. Just to pick out one for instance, forward collision warning. If the car determines, based on the information from the camera we've got ahead, that there's likely to be a collision in front of us, it will give me a visual and an audible warning so that me as the driver can actually slow down, get on the brakes and maybe even steer around to avoid the accident. Right in the centre of the dash, so it's easy for the driver and also the passenger to access, we have our connect screen. This is our infotainment system. So we have things on here where we can actually operate our phone. It can be paired up via Bluetooth and then of course we can make and receive calls using the hands-free option on the steering wheel. On this vehicle we also have the pre-installed Garmin navigation app so again we can find our destination really really easy. Now if you wanted to you could use your Google Maps, your Apple Maps or Waze potentially if you wanted to use that feature and what that's going to allow you to do is use the features off your smartphone whether you're an Android user and you're using Android Auto or you're an iPhone user using Apple's CarPlay. Both of those systems allow you to access the safe features and functions of your phone while you're driving. Now, if I want to go back to the audio on the actual system, rather than any audio I might be playing through my phone, I've got my ability to listen to DAB radio, FM radio, or even music off a memory stick. We can plug into a USB in the car. One extra pointer on here is that a lot of these features and functions, we can actually operate off the steering wheel controls, so we can keep our hands on the steering wheel for longer. So at the moment, we've put the shift lever into D, so we're ready to drive. Now this is how I would drive the car most of the time because the car works out everything for me and that's excellent. If I wanted to override that though, I can use the paddles on the left and the right hand side of the steering wheel to either raise or lower the revs depending what I want to achieve. And as soon as the, the car's done that particular task that I've asked it to, it will then go back into regular D mode. However, if I put it into sport, 
that will raise the revs so you'll get more acceleration uh, D will be more economical for you but you'll get more acceleration out of uh, S mode and then when we use the, the paddles it will actually stay in that uh, preset ratio until you move out of it. Now straight in front of me I have a beautiful TFT screen. So we've got a digital display for the speed right in the centre so it's really easy to, to read at a glance. And around the outside we have an analogue style rev counter but it is actually digital. Now in the lower section we have various icons that we can switch between. So we could have a, a compass, we could have our traffic sign recognition, we could have our speed alerts, we could even see who's wearing seat belts in the back. So all of the information I need as a driver is really easy to access straight in front of me so I can keep my eyes on the road ahead. Now it's a beautiful day today and a feature that I shan't be using at the moment but because we're in the UK you never know when it's going to actually turn on is my auto lights and my auto wipers. So Civic has full LED lighting at the front for better visibility and the auto lights will take care of when they're on and when they need to be off for me. The other benefit that we have is our high beam support system. So not only will it turn the lights on for me, but it will turn them on to full beam when it's appropriate and turn them back down to dip beam when that is appropriate. Of course, mention the, the wipers as well. Because we have the rain sensor at the top of the screen, when we have any moisture on the windscreen, the wipers will activate and I can control the, the sort of sensitivity of that with a little sort of dial halfway along the right stalk. So I've got perfect visibility. So now we're, we're cornering in the, the Civic and you can really feel how good the suspension is. All Civics have the sort of the DNA really of the Type R. Um, so it has fully independent rear suspension, meaning that you're going to get the best possible comfort and also road handling. Well, thank you very much for joining me on this test drive of the Honda Civic. And hopefully now you can see why this 10th generation of Honda Civic is the most advanced and sporty yet. Now, we'd love for you to try this vehicle out for yourself in your own test drive. So please feel free to contact your local dealer. We'll be delighted to book you in for an appointment.